Okay, without looking, let the bar go forward until you think it's over your shoulder. Okay, you can bring that, yeah, you can relax when you want. All right, so this is uh, Chevy. He's a, uh, uh, been involved in CrossFit, been lifting in another gym, has come in to uh, tidy up uh, some fine details here with his uh, barbell mechanics. Um, but uh, look, has already um, come quite a way just, just with the training he's done already. He's already uh, snatched up to uh, 112 or 115 uh, as a, well, who, you know, he would be an 85 kilo lifter. So he's done quite well to this point. Um, but um, there's a few little things, you know, and, and immediately with this uh, still frame, you can see that, that are going to jump out at you. Um, so the, you can see that the, the bar is behind him. Um, you know, what we'd like to see is the bar, the elbow, the shoulder uh, stacked on top of each other in a straight line. You can see this right side, okay, is, 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 behind, is particularly um, behind. Um, and because of that, he's lacking some scapular elevation. And this quite a you know for for a guy with his um, uh, intermembral index, so his 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 limb ratios, you know, I'd like to see him a little bit more upright in the trunk, and, and it's because of all these contributing factors that one is is teeing off the other. So um, he's he's not actually lifting in lifting shoes here. Uh, you know, he he does uh, he's involved in CrossFit quite a bit, so um, there's not as much ankle mobility as what I'd like to see, and that was one of the things we ended up working on. Um, and so all in all, what we're trying to do is to see if we can get him to tidy up that overhead position and see if we can get him to, uh, to get a feel for, for where that bar is and, and, and it being balanced rather than just having a stack of weight there and, and being able to feel it, but to be able to do it all the time. Um, and, uh, and, and that way, I think that he's going to have better control um, over what's going on. There's also quite a bit of hip flexion here because of that. Um, and um, so, you know, later on, you're going to see we're going to, we're going to tidy up this alignment of the bar, uh, you know, not having it behind him, not having that right side back, um, and just just having a better overall application to the model. Do a second one of those, please. Okay, let's go. Two strict snatch balances. Now I shrug into that now. So what we've done here is uh, just to see if this asymmetry is consistent. Uh, we've worked in some heaving snatch balance and some snatch balance, uh, and indeed you can see that that you know that right side is still back a little bit further. That asymmetry is still present, um, and uh, so that wasn't just something that we um, were seeing um, just as a as a one off. Of oh, just an environmental thing, and, and, and that's the, in the beginning when we're working with people. It, it, I want it to look how it normally looks, and so I'll have them warm up how they normally warm up, and, and, and lift how they normally lift. Just give them some basic things to do to see how it looks. Uh, we'll film it, then have them look at it, which is what we did, and then see if we can get a, a, you know, a different effect. That's good. That's good. Perfect. Don't change a thing. A bit, bit more upright. Let's go one more. Yes, please. All right, so can we call this a little bit of progress? Um, we're a little bit better now with the, uh, the bar and elbow and shoulder being stacked over each other. It's just ever so slight that right side is, is back. Um, the, the, the bar, however, is a little forward of the, of the midfoot. Um, and, um, and look, some of this, you know, the, the sense and feel for this is because, um, you know, when it's this light, you, you know, you don't have to be um, aligned, um, in, you know, in the, I guess, in the, the optimal model in order to balance it. But um, just from the upper body point of view, which is a little bit better in the shoulder, a bit better on the elbow, a bit better in the bar. Now, when we get to this subsequent rep, um, you can see even more so that that bar, the, the bar, elbow, shoulder are actually uh, forward out of the toe a little bit more. 
Um, and, and this is where now we're starting to really think about, okay, n now we'd like to see a little bit more dorsiflexion of the ankle. We'd like to see the trunk a little bit more upright, like that would lead to the knee being further forwards. And, uh, and that would, would, would get a better overall position for everything. So by no means are we, are we perfect here, but we're better in the upper body at this stage. So shrug this up now. There you go. Now, when we started working uh, on this training day with uh, Chevy, I, I, I was quite happy with his pulls in the uh, snatch and cleaning joke. I didn't really want to touch those too much. There was, there, was, there was some other things that were sticking out. We saw the overhead position in the snatch. You can see the overhead position here is being echoed in the jerk. Um, that right side is back. The scapula are down a little bit. And, uh, like, you know, it might, might be a little bit unfair just to kind of, you know, build a castle of concern just on on one rep that I'm showing you here but but I was um, I was concerned with um, you know where he ended up going with his back leg and what he ended up doing with his knee I, I'd like to see that down a little bit more and you'll see um, you know the sort of adjustments we made on that later on and also the, the trouble we, we went through trying to achieve that so that's that's kind of what we're starting with uh, in a second you're going to see some jerk balance being done and uh, again we had to kind of relocate the overhead position where the bar was in relation to the scapular and the elbow. Okay, stop. Look up more. Bring your chin up a bit more. Bring the bar forwards more. There, feel that? That's your position. Okay, do it again. Get there first time. Yes, two more like that. Good, recover. All right, well, that last bit of footage, I think, speaks for itself. Um, you can see the success we had. Uh, with finding that overhead position, uh, you know, once it was kind of pointed out, and, and Chevy got a chance to have a look and, and uh, at himself on film, and, and kind of and, and, and see where that location was, and, and what was uh, what corresponded with the feel that he had. So, um, so we, we that was the first thing we wanted to have a look at and, and tidy up on this jerk. And then the next thing we wanted to have a look at is let's you know is 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 what was going on with the feet. Now the feet weren't bad to start off with. Um, what I said was, is I, I wanted to, um, uh, I wanted to tidy up this back leg uh, in terms of just having better control overall. With with you know with that, if that back knee comes down, the trunk is a bit more upright. Uh, so we did some some um, jerk balance and some jerks, um, and uh, I think the coaching cue I ended up giving him here in a minute was just to, to, you know, to think about back knee down. Uh, and, 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 and then obviously when you're thinking about one thing, the thing you were getting right before starts to go out the window. Um, and uh, well, we started to accumulate some, some good reps in jerk balance. Jerk balance is not an easy thing to do the first time you do it, but you'll see here where we went with it. Okay, back, yeah, back, back up more. I think back knee down. Yes. Just chin in a little bit. Beautiful. Okay, let's do one for real now. Well, that position there, I'm going to call that a, a bit of a victory um, by uh, recording that and, and, and being able to go back and have a look at this whole um, this whole training session. Um, I think that that's going to be uh, useful. I think that was time well spent for just over an hour working on, on, on basically just a couple of parts of two lifts. Uh, now he's got some, some work to do in terms of technical work and warm-ups uh, and some mobility work to do as well. Uh, but I think for an hour and, uh, and for 50 bucks, I think that was time and money pretty well spent. Let's see if we can uh, continue that in the future, and I'd be curious to see how he looks in a couple of months' time.